everyone and welcome to a new video with Zenfi. Today I'm going to be going over one of our new functionalities that were added this month, which is the ability to be able to hide certain tabs from certain workspace users. Previously, when creating dashboards, if you wanted to restrict the view to certain users, you would need to replicate the different dashboards on different spaces and give users access to only a certain space. Now we have the option to be able to create only one dashboard and be able to choose which users view which tab. Now who is able to visualize this functionality? This is going to be open to anyone who has access to our dashboard. So if you're a pro tier or higher, you're going to be able to make use of this new option. And this is something that our clients have been requesting for a while. So we're very excited to be able to bring this to our users to be able to enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. To be able to access our workspace users, what we're going to do first is click on this gear icon and go to the top where it says workspace users. You'll only be able to view this tab if you are an admin in your workspace. And the same would go for adding any sort of user attributes. This is only going to be available for admin users. In Zenfi, you can have the role of an admin, a viewer, or a designer. So make sure you set as admin anyone that you want to be able to add different users, different attributes. Now, if we look up at the top, we have a new button that says Manage Workspace User Attributes. Here, we're going to be able to add any attributes that we want to be used inside of our dashboards. To be able to add a new attribute, what we're going to do is click up here where it says New. You can give your attribute a name. Once you're done adding options, here you would add the name and then the value. I'm just adding the same thing since here we're not using any sort of numeric value. And then you have to choose a value by default. This is going to be the one that's going to be preset for all users unless you go in and change it to a different option. So here I would just set it to staff. And then once you're done, you would click on create. And you're going to be able to see all of the user attributes that you add in this page. And now to be able to add an attribute to a certain user, what we're going to do is click on this icon here that says user attributes. And once we click on that, we're going to be able to select from the drop down menu. Here we're going to see all of the user attributes that we've created. And we're going to be able to assign a value. So for example here, I can give them clinician or admin access. And now for example, this would be the view if I were an admin. As we can see here, I have three tabs. And now what are we going to do to be able to hide a certain tab? We're going to click on the little pencil icon to be able to enter edit mode. And we're going to see a button that looks like this. It says visibility and here you can add a certain condition. And here we're going to be able to see the different user attributes that we've added. We can also use user ID and user email. So for example, when access is equal to admin access, I want them to be able to view a certain page or when it's clinician access, I want them to be able to view a certain page. And as you can see here, I have a tab called admin waitlist. So this one is visible only to those who have admin access. Now it's very important once you make changes, whether it's adding a user attribute or adding changes to the dashboards that you sign out and sign back in to be able to visualize these changes. And as we can see here, I have admin access, so I have access to all three tabs, the general waitlist, the admin waitlist, and a follow-up tab. However, if I sign in to the same dashboard using a different account that doesn't have admin access, now I can only visualize the general waitlist and the follow-up tab. And just like that, in a few steps, you're able to hide dashboard pages from certain users. You can filter out by domain, by location, possibilities are endless. As you can see, we try our best to make sure our clients' petitions are fulfilled. So if at any time you see a functionality that you would like to see on Zenfi, please let us know and we will do our best to be able to add it as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.